Alright, hello and welcome to The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. This is the DX version, the, the Game Boy remake, Game Boy Color remake, which is only slightly different, um, and I think in just good ways. Um, we open up with a scene of Link kind of uh, out to sea on a raft in a storm, where he's struck by lightning and washes up on a beach. He's found by this young woman, who we will meet shortly. And overlooking this mysterious island is, for some reason, a gigantic egg. I don't know. Sometimes you gotta have giant eggs, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, so this is a game that I wasn't initially planning on doing. I was planning on just leaving it to the two... Um, the first two NES Legend of Zelda games, but, I don't know, decided to uh, give this a shot. Um, might do some of the other ones, Link to the Past, uh, maybe the Oracle games, probably nothing later than that. Um, you know, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, I think those are just a little too uh, large scale for what I like to do on here. Um, but let's uh, let's dive in here. I'm also, this is the first time that I'm, I'm using a, a new mic that I, I finally got. Um, I'm curious to see how the audio changes or if I really notice anything about it, but no, oh, I guess we're going back. Well, that's enough. We saw that once. So the first thing that we're going to do is create our player name, and this isn't who we're actually going to play as ultimately, but we're going to start by calling ourselves Zelda, which will cause a little, uh, a little bonus something to happen here. Just get some unique music um, on the start screen. Nothing too special, but just nice. Um, all right, and then we can only use five characters, so let me make us closest uh, I can come to Dark Wolf with five characters. And with that done, let's get started. What a relief! I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. What? Zelda? No, my name's Marin. You must still be feeling a little woozy. You are on Koholint Island. Koholint Island, huh? Alright. Let's get up. Say hello. Follow the lane south to reach the beach where I found you. Since you washed ashore, lots of nasty monsters have been in the area. So be careful, okay? Alright, thanks. Um, well, Dark Wolf, you finally snapped out of it. Name's Terran. Alright, so we got Marin and Terran. Hope you're feeling better. What? How did I know your name? You think it's weird, huh? Well, I saw it on the back of this shield. Ooh. A shield. You got your shield back. Press the button and repel enemies with it. Hey, that's nice. Um, alright. So, not a huge amount to do right now, so let's just follow the path here. I am going to do my best to um, show off just about everything that I can, every bit of dialogue, things like that. Um, there'll probably be some small things I miss, but hopefully I get everything big and most of the small things. Speaking of which, um, we're going to get our first phone call here from uh, Olrira. Hopefully that's how you say his name. Bring, bring, hello, it's me, Olrira. Ask me anything about the island. If you get lost, give me a call. Bye. All right, then. Um, all right, let's continue on here. And um, Oreo's actually going to tell us about this in a little bit. But just to do this now and save us from having to do it later um, and to show off everything the game has, I'm going to quickly go through the library here and uh, the things that they tell us. So, selecting the item that's right for you. Read this book? Yes. You can select your favorite item for the A and B buttons on the subscreen. Using different items, you can fight without a sword. Try many different things to find what's right for you. Very interesting mechanic in this game that at times I don't like, and other times it's uh, uh, very cool and um, makes for some good puzzle solving. 
Auto Map and Memo Guidebook. Read this book? Yes. You can see an island map by pressing the Select button. The dark parts of the map are places you have not yet visited. Move the cursor and press the A button to get more information about an area or to replay the message you got there. Ah, how convenient. So yes, we hit Select. Um, pulls up our map for us and we can see what's on the thing. Madam Meow Meow's house. Beware the dog. Um, we haven't really met Madam Meow Meow yet, but we did walk on that screen. Secrets of the Whirling Blade. Read this book, yes. The Whirling Blade technique has been handed down from generation to generation by the family of the hero. To use it, hold down the sword button and build up your power. When you have enough, you can release the button. Can you master this? I think we could triv that a shot, as soon as we get a sword at least. How to handle your shield like a pro. Read this book, yes. If you hold the button down, you can defend yourself from enemy attacks and you can flip some enemies too. Besides the standard shield, there is also a mirrored variety, which can defend against beams. Alright, just a couple more things here. Fun with bombs. Read this? Yeah. After you put a bomb down, you can pick it up by pressing the button again. You can then throw it by pushing the button one more time. Did you know that? No, I did not. And that is also something that's going to be very useful for us, but not for a little bit. The properties of warp holes. Read this. So, there are some warp holes on Koholand Island. In fact, there are four. You can warp to and fro using these holes. <coughs> if you jump into the warp hole at which you arrived, you will go to the next one in the sequence. You can only warp to a hole you have seen with your own eyes. Very nice. And the Atlas of Koholand Island. Uh, you can move the cursor and look up the name of a place. Do you want to look at it? Sure. So, this is a way to see the completed map when you haven't yet been to places. But for now, I think we'll just leave it a mystery. And finally, Dark Secrets and Mysteries of Koholand. Do you really want to read this? Yes. <gasps> Gasp! What? What's this? You can't read the tiny print without the aid of a magnifying glass. So yes, there are actually two books here which we can't really access yet. This one, which we need the magnifying glass for, and this one, which we will get after the third or so uh, temple. Let's see what these kids have to say. Hey man, when you want to save, just push all the buttons at once. Uh, don't ask me what that means, I'm just a kid. Solid running gag throughout this game is that the characters will occasionally break the fourth wall, but then pretend like they're just reciting things they heard without knowing where it came from. Well, it seems that after you save, you will start at the last door you went through. I'm not really sure why that is, because I'm just a kid. Alright, let's carry on. So, the Tail Cave, whatever that is, is off to the side, but Taranbo Shores is down this way. We were told to follow this path to reach our sword. Unfortunately, the path kind of ends here. I'm not sure where we need to go next. Let's go this way. Um, beware of sea urchins. Don't touch them with your bare hands. Alright. Um, so this actually took me a remarkably long time to figure out that I could just push them. I thought I had to find my way around, but no. You can just push them with your shield as long as you're holding it out. Let's go this way, because this is where we want to go. And as we push this urchin all the way over, finally we can reach our shield. Only we've been stymied by an owl. Hoot, hoot! So, you are the lad who owns the sword. Now I understand why the monsters are starting to act so violently. A courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. It is said that you cannot leave the island unless you wake the windfish. Who is the windfish? Why do we have to wake him up? You should uh, now go north to the mysterious forest. I will wait for you there. Hoot! All right then. Well, I still want my sword. You found your sword. It must be yours because it has your name on it. A name engraved on it. And then... put on a little show and take out that sea urchin. Um, Alright, hey look, we got a rupee. That's nice. Um, Alright, so I think we will end things here with me already taking damage because I'm just that good. Um, but yeah, let's end things here and when we come back, uh, we're going to, I guess, proceed north like the little owl guy told us to. Um, but until then, see ya!